Hi, welcome back to Baking with Josh and Ann. Hi, you guys. How are you? Um, we're really excited because our family is about to have a family vacation to Iowa. I'm dad kidding. joke. I love dad Iowa. Dad joke. Josh <laughs> loves a good dad joke. No, we're going to Hawaii. We're going to Hawaii. <laughs> we're going to Hawaii, and our whole family is a buzz about it. Everything we do, we're like, ooh, for Hawaii. Ooh, Hawaii. I know. Like, what, what did you make? You just made dinner. I did. I made a, a sheet pan Hawaiian steak and veggie dinner, which was awesome, and it just. It really got us in the mood for Hawaii. It did. And so <laughs> then the other day the kids were like, can we get a pineapple? Let's have pineapple. <laughs> we got a pineapple. Can we do a pineapple smoothie? And I'm thinking about what kind of desserts we can make with pineapple. And I thought, how about the classic upside down pineapple cake dessert? How about that classic? Let's do that one. But we're going to do it a little different. We're going to do it mini style. Because mini style. Because we like mini desserts. We love mini desserts. And mini desserts are great if you have kids. Also, if you have tiny hands like me, it's easier to eat. And they're so cute. And they're so cute. Just like her. Just like her. Aww. <laughs> Here's what you'll need to make upside down pineapple mini cakes. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. That's my job. I got this, babe. Right. Don't worry. <laughs> I got it. All right, so our next step is to grease our ramekins. Now, I'm using six ounce ramekins, four six ounce ramekins. The reason is because these are the perfect size for the pineapple slices that we have. It's pretty cool. Now, you could use a cupcake tin or something else, but this is the perfect pineapple slice size. By the way, do you guys remember when I thought a ramekin was like a character in Game of Thrones? Okay. It sounds like an animal in like <laughs> Game of Thrones. Beware the ramekins are coming for you. But now I know it's a baking dish thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm learning. Exactly. So you want to make sure and generously grease these because eventually we're going to flip these upside down and they're supposed to pop out. What's our next step? Okay, next step is to dust some brown sugar on the bottom of your ramekin. Okay. Okay, so you just kind of take about a half teaspoon of brown sugar. Okay. Just make sure it's lightly dusted on the bottom. Our next step is the pineapple. So the reason I have these between two paper towels is you want to dry your pineapple slices before you put it in the ramekins. Lots of moisture in it, and so it will affect your baking if you have it too moist. So you want to dry your pineapple slices a little bit before. They're still pretty wet, but all that extra juice that's in the can, you don't need. Now that these have been dried in between two paper towels, you just gently set your pineapple slice that fits perfectly in your into ramekin. your ramekin. Oddly soothing and satisfying. I, I know. Want, can I do this one? Yeah, go for it. Oh my god. So the next step is to take our cherries. I and love these things so much. I want to eat one right now. Well, don't eat the cherry. You can mm -hmm. you can actually tie the, the stem in a knot if you want. I'm going to do that. <laughs> so you want to, you know, obviously de-stem these cherries. Okay. And also maybe just like pat them dry too so that because they come in a lot of moisture as well. So now, all you got to do, take the cherry and put it right in the middle. And that should do it. All right, next we're going to place our ramekins on our baking sheet. We've set this aside while we make our vanilla cake. Another thing I love about this recipe is how easy the vanilla cake mix is. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and mix our dry ingredients together. Flour first, baking powder, salt, and the nutmeg. Mix that together, you wanna mix it? Sure, I love that when you turned to me you were like, I love how easy this cake uh, batter recipe is. Sounds like, mm hmm, like I have any idea. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's one of the easy ones. No, it really is. It really is. So now the dry ingredients are mixed, we'll set those aside. And now it's time to do the wet ingredients. So we take our melted butter, pour it in, then our sugar, egg, and vanilla. To mix this together until it's really nice and combined. Now that we have that all mixed, we're going to take our dry mixture and just pour that all in and mix a little bit more. When this is partially mixed, then you want to add some of your milk. Milk. <laughs> milk, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> and then you're just going to really whisk it really hard together. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> until it's nice, nice Look at that, that's like the whisk muscle. Yeah. All right, so now you can either spoon in your mixture into the ramekins or you can use a piping bag. I like to use a piping bag just because you I can know. see the amount. It's just easier. You know he cleaner. likes it. He likes it all pretty and tidy. <laughs> that's right. We know. You're, this is why you're the baker and I am not. <laughs> so next we're going to fill these up, probably about halfway full, very gently. Cover the cherry. All right, so that's all you need to do. We're gonna put these in the oven for about 22, 24 minutes. After the cakes are done baking, take them out of the oven and let them cool for about 10 minutes. Run a knife around the edge of each ramekin to loosen it up. Place a plate on top and then flip it over really quick. 
remove the ramekin, and there you have your cake. All right, so our upside down pineapple mini cakes are done. How's mm, it taste? It's so good. And these are so easy to make. I mean, so easy, and what a fun like summer dessert. Thank you for solving my, my craving of pineapple desserts. <laughs> and, and now I'm ready to go to Hawaii and get fresh pineapple. And... I mean, it's like we don't even need to go to Hawaii now, right? I mean, because we got the dessert. I mean... You zip it, mister. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by our kitchen. We hope you'll enjoy these upside down pineapple mini cakes. And if you make them, tag us. Yes, please tag us. We love seeing when you create our recipes. Yes. It makes me so happy. Makes him so happy. It makes does. me happy too. Make me happy. Make him happy. <laughs> and you can go to www.makeupwithjoshandange.com for all kinds of recipes. Mm -hmm. All right, bye you guys. All right, bye. We'll, uh, we'll send you photos from Hawaii. Aloha. All right, Ge generously greased. Yes. <laughs> Just saying. Good life lesson. <laughs> I was always so impressed with people that could actually do that. All right, let's just, can we just move on? I think that's Why, did you date someone who could do that? No. Got it? Oh, I'm trying to tie it. I threw out tight my wall. <laughs> Don't choke. <laughs> Slowly, 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 slowly,